Wild accusations about Casey Anthony and her attorney, Jose Baez, revealed in court documents. A former investigator claims Baez knew Casey was guilty of murder, murdering her daughter, and he had an inappropriate or improper sexual relationship with Casey. But Jose Baez tells us, quote, this information comes from an intention, attention-seeking delusional individual with a history of making false claims and outrageous claims not only to court officials, but to the media. Back with Joey, Pat, and Beth. We want to look at who this guy is. Beth, I, I, there were a lot of interesting, uh, in quotes, uh, private investigators swirling around this case. Is he just another one of those? Jose Baez seemed like a straight shooter. I, he, he doesn't look like a criminal to me. You know, the allega you know, Dominic is alleging he's a criminal, right? Yeah, you know, and they're also saying that Dominic Casey is still bound by uh, privilege and he is not supposed to be disclosing uh, communications and things that occurred on the defense team. However, that's not to say what's in this affidavit is truthful. Jose Baez was not really experienced at the time of this trial, and I have spoken with very experienced attorneys who were so impressed with the way he handled his opening and his closing arguments. I'm telling you, that when he opened on it being an accidental drowning and Casey was being sexually abused by her father, I was floored and I thought, oh my God, either George Anthony's gonna admit to this or Casey's gonna get on the stand, and neither happened. And that's why he couldn't close on that. That, to me, was huge. And for somebody who had never had a case of this magnitude, for him to keep his mouth shut and use the strategy he had was pretty good. I mean, I'm a sort of a prosecution-oriented person, and it was kind of hard for me to admit, but Jose Baez, like some very, very um, distinguished defense attorneys around the country told me they did a good job. But Pat, you seem a little surprised by that. Well, and boy, do I admire Beth. There's no doubt about that. But I just, to play devil's advocate, if we're talking about did he have sex with Casey Anthony, Anthony and did he say to this dominant Casey, you know, she told me that she killed the child and dumped the body. I think they're two separate things. I, you can be a formidable attorney, one of the best in the country, do a great job, and he certainly did for his client. I don't know if any of this stuff Dominic's saying is true, but I don't think we can rule it out. We got to find out what's to it. I don't know, uh, Joey. You just look—you look stunned. What do you think, Joey? Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look. The bottom line is that a a any attorney, you—you you have privileged information. You share that with your client. Even investigators, I use. I'm not telling the investigator the ins and outs of what my discussions with my client are. That's privilege too, unless it's waived by the client. So he's going to say, you know what? She really did it. I want you to go out and I want you to find the body. I mean, the claims themselves don't seem to me from a legal perspective perspective, whether Jose Baez was experienced at the time or not, to make any sense. And then you're going to compound that, because now he broke the privilege by sharing information with an, with an investigator, clearly on the team, but not an attorney and not someone who should be getting information like that. And now you're going to suggest that there's some relationship there? Go ahead, I Pat. Mean, it just well, seems I a little suspicious, and yeah. certainly it seems to me that there's some other motivation here.